Oh, this is cute. Okay. Oh, whoops. No! It's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are going old school. We're going to open this box and it has been here since March of 2020. So I think it's time to get this open. It's 14 pounds of I don't remember what. Could be boho, could be regular. I don't know. But I have the mister with me. He's going to help me today and he has his handy dandy knife which you know I'm not allowed to touch. So he'll go ahead and open it. We're going to go ahead and uh, look at the first impression of the box, and then I'm going to reposition the camera, and we will get started. Spin it for me. So okay. The other side. Uh, That's why I didn't want to reach across. <laughs> and that. There yeah. you go. All right. Well, we can see what the description says. Oh, when it's lined, we can take the bag out. It says you've been sitting on this box too long without looking at it. <laughs> Things have been way outdated now. <laughs> Let me get the cobwebs and dust off of this. Oh yeah. All right. Okay, here, grab the box. It's this, a little, ugh. I got the box. All right, so here is our first impression. We shall see. All right, let me position the cam. Oh, dirt already. Told you. <laughs> Let's position the camera down and. All right, we are old school gang. The, the mister is going to start pulling and untangling as I'm showing and untangling with him. Oh, yay. <laughs> so you're going to hear clunking in the background. A really nice silver tone rhinestone bracelet. That's a nice start. That sounds like one big tangle. Yeah, I hate to tangle already. <laughs> All right, this is gorgeous. Unfortunately, it's missing some stuff, but this is going to go great in a rhinestone lot. Love that. Oh, that's sassy. Okay, well, if it's all there, that is sassiness going on. Okay, you have to forgive. I mean, this is old school. Of the You know, the bonus hairs and everything. Still here. So... <laughs> What's the matter? What did you find already? Look at I've got a big old bonus hair. What did you find? I'll go ahead and let you finish okay. and I'll give you I'll give you a surprise. Okay. Um cute, lots of pink, lots of acrylic. I think that's sassy and fun. Okay. We'll start off real early. This <laughs> isn't gonna go anywhere. Uh oh, <laughs> Oh, okay, if you guys don't know, I am a huge fan of Esther the Wonder Pig. I love her. And this is adorable. And pigs that fly. Hey, maybe we'll find something. This is our omen. Oh, dear. I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, dear. Okay, you know what? I don't have enough neck to pull off that earring. Holy cow. Oh, we'll have to start a single earring pile. Oh, how cute. Okay, it's acrylic, the little tiny teddy bear. I'm assuming it was a keychain at one point. Totally cute. They make a cute um, ornament. Okay, Aww. you know what, a little beat up, but these beads on the side, I think you could salvage nicely. Nice, heavy. Oh yeah, gang, this is totally old school. You're gonna hear stuff like, <laughs> hey, we have this one. Victoria's Secret, we have this one right now. We don't see too many duplicates, but that's a dupe. And this will be promising when that tangle comes out. Oh, you know what? I think it might go with this. Maybe. Oh dear. Like I said, okay. after it yeah. untangled, we'll. We'll see, but yeah, I think. I think it goes with Oops. this. This hey, is. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right, see, gang, we're starting off. A lot of weather updates. We're getting a hard freeze tonight. And maybe some rain. Hey. Yeah. Okay. A little too damaged here. It'll go and craft. Okay. I'm assuming this is a piece of cabinet or something. What is... <laughs> it does. Look. It looks like they yanked it off a drawer. Oh. That's... Okay. Well, you know, you never know what you're going to find in these things. I. You know what? This and... 
this and the piece that we're going to try to get out. Ah, I like it. Okay, we've got... Oh, a match. Here we go. Are they marked? No, no mark. But hey. Oh, that's a little interesting. Okay, let's put this on the side. We'll keep the earrings yeah. over here. Got two keychains they put together, but interesting. Okay. You know what? I think we're, you know, if we don't find matches, we're going to end up with a beautiful earring lot. Oh. Okay, Whoops. you know what? You could certainly take these off. This is a beautiful ceramic piece. Gorgeous. And then, oh, loving the flip flop. Are the rhinestones all there? Oh, it's missing a rhinestone. Gosh darn it. But you know what? Easy fix for somebody. Easy fix. Oh, you know what, gang? Here we go. We just finished Christmas, and we already have Valentine's stuff everywhere, and then Easter is going to be right behind it. That's adorable. Adorable. Oh. All right. A little too small for me, but hey, that's a nice fashion ring. Still in pretty darn good condition, too. That's pretty. I love these. These are so much work. Got poked. Oh, okay, I should warn you. Be careful. Oh, I know. Please. <laughs> I just, yeah. In case they have any of those lovely random pins going on. Okay, that might be one of them. These are in really nice shape. And hooked together, so they cared. Oh, this is cute. Oh, whoops. No! Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that was cute. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> you can't get any more old school than that. <laughs> that was cute. All right, well, okay. We'll be right back after that message. Oh, dear. Okay, oh, well, you know, dear. I was going to try to unbend it, and I, sometimes. Oh, you I just, unbent it. Yeah, I did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I did a real good job. Okay, unfortunately, this one has some wear, but this is a beautiful pieces, though. I think you can definitely salvage a good chunk of that. Oh, Okay, I'm not going to unbend him. <laughs> yeah, let's not. <laughs> Psychedelic kitty. Ooh, Cute. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, this one. Okay, I'm digging these. All right, let's see. That is just a full-on fabulous crystal. It's nice and heavy, and then this has enameling. That'd be great as, you know, a faux wedding set, especially if you're traveling. Nice. Travel. What? I know. You know, back at... Oh, dear. Okay. Well, all right. Gang, if you've ever tried to make these paper... These paper beads, yeah. Um, no offense to whoever made this, but this is what mine look like too. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> just, mm -mm. it's hard. That's pretty. Oh. Okay, if we find the other one, that is a nice earring, nice hefty earring. All right, well, kid jewelry, but cute, still cute. I mean, there again, they don't say that you're not gonna get any kid jewelry. This is plastic. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, dang it. And it's miss it's missing. But maybe in the bottom. I'll let you deal with that one. Oh, there's a mark. Oh, it's locked. Okay, well, now comes the... Is it all there? Is it not all there? I have a feeling... You may miss something. Hey, but that's pretty. These briolettes are gorgeous. Nice and hefty. Beautiful piece and marked. Love that. Oh, that is a beautiful earring. Boy, I hope we have the other one of these. Look at those. Gorgeous. Okay, digging that. Hoping, hoping we have the other one. You know, there was definitely a theme. Silver, rhinestone. Already have a good chunk here. And why? No? Oh, Avenue. Okay. This one's missing a few, but not too bad and not very noticeable. I think that would be an easy fix, too. No, that's different. I'd almost 
almost looks like telephone cord, doesn't it? Like back in the day, younger people are not going to have a clue, but you know. <laughs> Phone Us cord. older folks will know what a phone cord looks like. Phone cord? <laughs> Look at this. I mean, there is a ton. I'm going to have to put it all over there. There is a ton of silver tone and rhinestones. Digging it big time. Oh, see, now this either had a pin back or an earring back. We'll have to look. But easy fix to do something with it. I'm liking that too. Cool. What the? Oh, that okay. Hurts, well, yeah. Okay, I would have thought this would have said Monet Napier. This is gorgeous and hefty. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice. Store bought, homemade, either way. Really pretty. There is a theme here. Not bad. Oh, I got your theme all right. Is it called um, not? Yeah, big, <laughs> big not. Oh, I think I found the other one. I did. You know what? These are, I hope they clean up because these really are Right now, ladies are looking for the purses that are made with, like, the telephone cord. That's heavy. Okay. This would go perfect with one of those purses. And we'll have to see what it looks like all cleaned up. Okay, looks like all the rhinestones are here. Nice. Nice little stretch. Oh, we had the necklace to this a long time ago. I don't know if I still have it. I'll have to look. Beautiful stretch. Hefty. These beads are like way heavy. Okay. Please be there. This would be gorgeous. Look at this one, gang. That's hefty too. Oh no, no, no. Not as hefty. Okay, hang on. Wow. You know, this would this would be quite a going to the uh, casino kind of. <laughs> this one. Ooh. Like. Gorgeous. You know what? This looks very much like an Avon piece. And this does not say Avon. Bethlehem. Okay, well, it definitely has a a beautiful gold tone. I hate loose earrings. <laughs> All these years I've been saying how much you know, pain in the behind loose earring. They gum up the works in the box. Okay, in the box. In the box. Okay, you know, um, acrylic, but loving the color and the little charms. Oh dear. Okay, well, we have the match of these. <laughs> big, big suckers. Okay, for all you Chloe's out there. Aw, so sad, Chloe. We have your bracelet on. Okay, this is a nice bangle. Loving that. Oh, okay, for all my glass bead gals. All right, some, mm, not in the greatest shape. Others, beautiful. This would be great to repurpose. Okay, these are gorgeous. I'm loving that they're doing this. Okay, there's that pair of earrings. There's this pair of earrings. I'm not kidding. There's some interesting designs I've got in here. This really is a silver tone box for sure. Oh, here's a single. Sure what that goes to. Oh, that's pretty though. Oh, it's an AB bead as well. Okay, well we'll have to look to see what that goes to. Ooh! Oh, it's an earring. Oh geez, I hope we have the other one of these. Look at this. It's like Christmas. It's like Christmas. It's like Christmas. For you. <laughs> I got slave labor here. I know, and it's free slave labor. Isn't it great? No, it's not free. <laughs> oh, All right, so I'll end up free. paying for that. Oh, that, no, this is good. I this like that. It's pretty. Oh. Oh, and it's enameled, two different enamels on both sides. Here's blue 
And then red. And look at this beautiful little fashion ring. Wow. Does that have a size or anything in it? Let's see. Sometimes they have a size in it. I'll just have to get my... It's right over there. I Well, uh-huh. Along with everything else, look how long it took me to find my loop. Mm, well. Yeah. Okay, we have a nice pin. Has a little bit of condition issue here, but it's marked. Oh, and it's Monet. Gosh darn it. All right, well, you know what? I'd still love it anyway. A little bit of condition going on here. Oh, those are cute. And you know what? Fourth of July is going to be here. I mean, we're going to blink and it's going to be Fourth of July again. Blink. But, uh, you know what? <laughs> uh, looks like an evil eye with a Shambhala bracelet. That's pretty. Did Okay, let's see. All right, we have double strand glass. And it looks like some beautiful shell. And some kind of maybe quartz. That is a beautiful piece right there. Uh, fashion. What a great job, kid. You are way ahead of me. Well, I'm just trying to get a head start so I can run away and you won't notice it. <laughs> Oh, these are glass. These are nice and hefty. That'd be good donut piece. Alright, gang, here we go. Last box had it. This box had it. Remember, gals, if it's your time, in fact, mine's coming up in a couple of months, uh, get your mammograms done. Uber, uber important. Even in these crazy times, you need to get that done. Stay on top of that. We have a garden theme? What's going on here? Garden theme? Yeah, yeah, look, look. Okay, so we have the little, the little flowers. We have the little pail. Oh my gosh, that little manual, that little push lawnmower. Oh my gosh. Okay, great charms here. Oh man. Okay, look at the sparkle on that. That is gorgeous. We have a lot of singles so far. Rhinestones. Uh, this says something. Origami Owl. I didn't know Origami Owl made earrings. Okay, well, now we have an Origami Owl earring. Let's hope we find... I'm going to put that right here. Hopefully we find the other one of that. Charming Charlie. See if it's all there. Oh, you know what? I hate to tell you, dear. You're gonna be one big sparkly mess by the time we're done. Hmm. <laughs> okay, it looks like it's all here. Charming Charlie. Oh, it's nice. Oh, like a little toe print, maybe. Cute. Alright, so we got something marked. Nice. Oh, be my ow. Oh. Okay, let's put the pin in here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Be mine. Okay, what did you find over here? Oh, it's like Shamu. Well, but not Shamu. It's like a dolphin, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a dolphin. A dolphin. Hey, at least the back was on that one. Okay, look at how many we've had with the rhinestones. Cool deal. Okay, you know what? This matches the pig. Yes. Somebody was being very creative. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, this is Mark too. I see a hang tag. Oh, it's a Lane Bryant piece. Okay, and hefty. That is one, one hefty piece. Let's put that over here, marked. Ooh, glass beads, that gorgeous, gorgeous rhinestone encrusted bead right there. Yeah, well this matches those earrings, that little sparkle thing we've got going on here. Sparkle. sparkle. Oh, here's the other, here it is. Yay! 
I love these earrings. And kind of goes with those. Everything needs to be cleaned, of course. Oh, missing. But beautiful. If you have a rhinestone, easy fix. Oh, we had another one of these. Okay. Oh, we've got some wear. But someone could definitely paint it, dip it, do something with it. You know what? It has a little wear down here. But look at all the presents up here. I like it. Oh, you know what? I have that. What am I doing with it? Here it is. You want these two <laughs> go nicely together. Cool, cool. This looks very much like it could have gone with this one or wear it with that. Those are beautiful. I mean, this here, that is a beautiful little set here. All right, the mister has dug out this one for me. It's sort of a Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Boy, they sell good for us. New with tags. I'm wondering if the, maybe we'll find the bracelet in here too. Gorgeous. Oh, I like this one. Here, I like this one. Oh, it's heavy. Courage, love, trust, honor, family, truth, and charity. Oh, that is very nice. Let's see. Ah, magnetic on the end. But nice. I bet this cleans up. I bet that cleans up beautifully. That's what you said about me, but guess what? <laughs> Alright, what's this one? Charming Charlie. Okay. So we're getting more dirt and dirt. Dirt. More and bonus hairs. You know what I couldn't find? I couldn't find the squeeze me button. Like in the, from the beginning. Oh when wow, we, yeah. When we had such dirty stuff. I, not that this isn't dirty. You can see our hands are starting already. Uh, this is a double strand and it looks like a his and hers ring with these rhinestones on the inside. That is gorgeous. Ooh, that is gorgeous too. Let me see that that you just dug out. Ooh. Careful, don't get poked. If I get poked one more time. <laughs> I know, it's not good. Um, it's a good thing we've had, you know, practice. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are all glass beads. Somebody made that. That is beautiful. I mean, look at that. Mmm, that feels good too. Alright, let's see what this is. LC. Alright, well. Nice, beautiful enamel pendant on this really, really like snake chain. Nice. Okay, so we have some signed material. We have kind of some scraggler. Oh, single. Oh. Okay, loving that earring. Another scraggler. Well, this ring isn't in the greatest shape on the bottom, but it's not bad on top. All right, so we have, let's put our singles over here. Hopefully we'll find them. Some miscellaneous. Oh, okay. Well, somebody made a cute little pin out of puzzle pieces. And then somebody went to Shed Aquarium. I wonder where that is. So look that up. But it's cute with the little turtle and the little Nemos. Cute. Okay, everything's cute today. I have to work on. Gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> All right, these are glass pearls, hand knotted. We have a vintage feel on that clasp. That's pretty. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Well, there's that. Put that over there. Somebody can repurpose it. Okay, we have a Shambhala. 
That still works. Beautiful beads. Oh, how cute is that? Okay, it looks like somebody made a bookmark and attached these really cute enameled charms right to it. I think that's gorgeous. That's just the way it is. Ooh! Okay, we've got, I'm dragging things through. Yeah, we've got like the beautiful, they always call them like wedding cake beads. Those are nice. Wow. Okay. Okay, this one's smart too. Oh, Park Lane. Oh. Okay. We are missing. Oh, no, no, no. The jump ring is still there. Okay, I just have to fix this jump ring. But these are beautiful rhinestones. Park Lane has gorgeous stones. Okay, one little fix and I can make that all better. This has some serious condition issues on the back with the front. Oh. Okay, it looks like someone has already taken the main bulk of the rhinestones out. Some craft. Ooh, we have seen more rings already than we have seen in the last couple of boxes combined. That's a pretty little ring. Okay, silver tone, rhinestone, can't beat that. And more rhinestones. This box had a lot of beautiful rhinestones. So we have glass beads. And some polymer beads. Wow! Look at you go! Look at these glass beads. Wow. Those are beautiful. Oh, hey, this one. And this one, same style. Same artist, maybe. Pretty. Hmm. I love when you say, hmm, that means something interesting's coming. Oh, just heavy. Hmm. Okay, so is this one. This is a hefty setting. Those are gorgeous. Yeah, we, this, this is the theme of this box, I'm telling you right now. Is this the piece? Let's take a look. So we've got some carved beads. Not marked, but wow. That is beautiful. That is a really pretty piece. We'll have to put that aside to take a look. Oh, here's another one of these. So maybe like that. Now that, that's quite a statement. Sorry. That's okay. This is one of the Lord of the Rings copycat replica. replica thing. There is a mark in here. I don't know what that is. It's not like the Danbury mint mark, so I'm not sure. But I like it. Now let's put that one aside too. We'll take a look. Okay, bangles. Let's see what we've got here. This one has some beautiful wood inlay over brass. Some standards. And then this one is heavy. Lena's not feeling it today. <laughs> uh, looks like all the rhinestones are here. So, you know, that's a nice little group. Gang, I have a pile of stuff avalanching over here. This is a nice box. Okay, more of that... That diamond uh, sparkle look to these. I love those. What did he find here? Oh. 
Is this marked? This has got to be marked somewhere. Seriously? Wow, look at this. Definitely has that bridal look to it. It has that tanzanite. Uh, they have both a satin kind of finish and the high polish. Oh dear, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, another pair of silver tone earrings. Okay, I tell you what, this box is loaded. Okay, another bangle. Another bangle. Okay, fashion, fashion stretch. Also fashion tassel, very on trend. Acrylic. Oh, here's another one of these. Uh, they're moon glow. I mean, people, folks like moon glow. Well, this is Mark II. Let's see. Trademark 2016 Nintendo. Okay. Well, I'm not a Nintendo person too, too much, so I'm not sure if this is from a game. Don't know. Okay. Looks like it's all here. These are acrylic. This is still in a package. It's like a sun on one of the wax cores. Ooh, these are glass. Oh, and there's a tag. 2028. Ooh. Pretty. Ooh, dirty. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, gang. This stuff is not clean by any means. We're doing this old school. Ooh, careful. We haven't done this in a long time. A little condition issue, but not too bad. Not too bad. Single earring. Looks like Celtic. And has that Clotta on the bottom. So we'll definitely have to take a look at this one. A lot of those are often gold or silver. Another fashion earring. We're getting quite a stack of singles going on over here. This is stretched. A little condition issue, but you know the panel, somebody will make something beautiful of that. Um, kid. And we have these in all different animals. Oh, another like diamond cut. This is pretty. Oh, and marked. Ooh, and a bonus hair. Oh, I'm so sorry, gang. Oh, this is Express. Doesn't look like in too bad a shape. Give this a good clean up with the chevron design. Pretty. All right, well, let's put that over there for the, let's take a look at it. Oh, I love that blush color. Charming Charlie. Also, really pretty. Oh, this is in really nice shape. Let's put that over there. And this looks like maybe like hmm, obsidian, maybe. Also still in the package. Uh, definitely something off of here. Craft, somebody will turn that into a beautiful piece. Another one of those fashion bangles. Here's another Shambhala. Really nice shape. Fashion. I mean, it's it's lightweight, but still. Also lightweight. Oh, these are pretty. Both here. I love when they're, they're putting these together. This, I think, will go with one of the first necklaces we had. It had the same little rhinestones in it. Still going to put it over here with my earrings, but I'm pretty sure that goes with that first necklace. Okay, well the little bit of scratching uh, both on that and the holographic feature, but still I bet that cleans up pretty nicely. Another single earring, another little single earring. Okay, 
Okay, let's see. Pretty nice shape. Hoops. A few more of the little bangles. Oh. Wow. Yeah, this one we'll have to see if it cleans up. It has some scratching, but wow. That has some presence going on and a lot of articulation. Nice. My kid has given me quite a stack while he's resting his back over there. Little locket. Looks like some labradorite. Beautiful little piece. Little fashion bracelet, maybe stainless steel. We'll have to take a look at that. You'll have to forgive the dogs. And this one is CG. Oh gosh, we had one of those not too long ago and I can't remember the name. I'll have to look that up, but um, fashion statement. Here is a little, oh, somebody's missing a beautiful stone. I'll put that over here. Single earring. Kind of boho look to this one. A lot going on. Shorter, definitely uh, collar length, if not choker, if you wanted it to be. This one has like the polymer beads. It needs to be hung, but you know what? These would these are really pretty. Pretty color. Um, I think we have a belt. But I think it's short enough that you could make this be a necklace. Okay. Oh, still has its little tags. Made in China. Okay. Oh, another little earring. Oh, this is not cute. But these earrings are tucked in everywhere. We're going to have a nice little lot of miscellaneous earrings, I think. Oh, and it. Okay. White House Black Market. Oh, love it. That is gorgeous. Look at these rhinestones. They are rhinestones on the one side, bigger ones on the other. This one has a, a black rhinestone on that one. Ooh. White House Black Market, simply gorgeous. Okay, I have to show you guys, look at all of this work my boy has done. Look at this. How are you how are you feeling about earrings now, honey? I can beep. Oh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. I can guarantee you the middle of that tangle he was working on that whole time I'm filming is uh, the loveliness that nope. would be these earrings. Nope. Okay, you're you're set. I'm out of here. <laughs> My fingers are broken. All right, I'm going to show you uh, all of this stuff up close and personal while the boy goes to actual work. I think he's done with jewelry for the day. Just a little bit. Thanks, honey. I love you. Uh -huh. All right, gang, let me change the camera and uh, let's see this stuff up close and personal. All right, let's get up close and personal. I'm so sorry that this is the box that the mister decided he was going to, you know, take charge and be helpful on. And I appreciate all his help. What on earth? Um, this box has a gazillion earrings and I'm so, if you've never untangled one of these boxes, the earrings gum up everything. They just make the worst tangles. And I'm so sorry. There's a million of them and I'll show you. And there are some beautiful ones. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of ends, so that can't be good. So I'm going to say this is going to end up being craft. There seems to be too many ends here. Really pretty collar. I'm telling you right now. I think this gal or whoever had this may have been somebody who did like weddings, bridal jewelry, because let me show you. Um, 
Okay, so two collars in pretty good shape. Oh, hang on. Charming Charlie. Here's uh, another in that kind of style. But this whole box has had so many rhinestones and silver tone jewelry that I'm wondering if she wasn't like, you know, a, a wedding reseller or maybe she did just wedding jewelry. I don't know, but there's an awful lot of it. I don't think I've ever had this much in one box before. Okay, these are pretty lightweight. But these beads sparkle and pop. I mean, and then the chain. I mean, this is fabulous. Loving that. Let me put that over here. I know this is going to get tangled like nobody's business. Let me put that over there. Okay, let's see who this is. Let's see. Oh, it's Erica Lyon. Okay. Triple strand. Let's see if I can get it all in here. And I've got this strand and this strand and this strand. Nice. And it has the typical Erica Lyon logo. Nice. You know, I have to keep reminding myself that this box is almost a year old because we haven't seen the quality in the latest boxes by any by any means so the older boxes definitely had nicer quality oh this is a beautiful bib i um, don't know if it's commercial made or if this is artisan made but that is beautiful gorgeous color combo i love that dang that thing is heavy okay no signature long super super long chain and then look at this I'm wondering if that's like an agate that listen to that that is hefty um you know when we get it cleaned up we'll have to see but it looks like maybe have some light scratching here not sure we'll have to take a look and see okay don't see a mark on this one okay multi-strand oh Beautiful. All right, we have some acrylic and we have some glass beads with that mirror finish and then glass beads. So, um, mm, okay, I, it's not, we're not, I mean, we're done with fall, but this neutral palette, that's gorgeous and not art. You would think something that beautiful somebody would have put their mark on it okay let's look at this one my poor kid i i know what this looks like i mean with when earrings get all stuck in it oh all right oh and it's marked too that's loft okay see we've got strands coming out and then we have this where it is stretched and we have faux pearl we've got some glass beads and some acrylic beads um, you could certainly try to restring this, but I think all of this here would kind of, kind of be, you know, a little pain in the behind to do. Uh, this will probably end up being better for crafts. I mean, look at all of that goodness you could, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff you could do that, do with that. All right, let's look at this one. And again, look at, oh my, and these are gold. Oh, these are glass. Uh, you and I. Oh, looks like uh, opalite. Uh, look at all the faceting on like these crystal. Oh, a square. These remind me very much of Vera Wang, Simply Vera. She does a lot of this, um, you know, cage work with beads. Oh. And then this main bead here, wow. Okay, this is definitely in the running to be one of my favorites. Look at this thing. Ooh, I love that. Love it. Love it. Okay. And we had talked about this when he pulled this piece out. Okay, and this is what I'm talking about with 
I'm wondering if this wasn't a reseller or someone who had like a bridal shop because look here, the earrings are attached. So I'm wondering if she had this like hanging up, he, she, had this hanging up and had the earrings because usually when we get a box, we are not this fortunate. So I, I am wondering if this didn't come out of, you know, the same donation, you know, oh, so sad. Okay, let's look at this one. Um, okay, this one is, oh, filthy. Okay, this, I think when we clean it up, okay, yeah, it looks like it's going to have the copper color, the brass color, and the silver tone. I think it's just so dirty that you can't really tell. So I can't wait to clean that up. I think that's going to be gorgeous. Okay, and here we go again. Um, see, with the... Do we only have one? Oh, no, here's the other one. Um, with the earrings attached. And then this here. This would be great, Mother of the Bride. I mean, this is big and bold, and, you know, you want to have attention, you know, but you don't want to have that much attention, you know. Nice! Okay, well, we have that love that oh this is super fun okay I don't see a mark but look how fun and this oh yeah yoy. that is a statement and a half cool you know what there are some fun ow some fun things in this box okay uh, Colson Okay, some of these, and this is, uh, I can't, that's some initials. And then, this cute little, all right, these two are wooden. And the little frog is metallic with enameling. Cute is that. Okay, and these three are the same and we have a tag, okay, well, the ends are a little different. And we have a tag, 11. So I don't know if maybe $11 each, but these are really pretty. They have the stem with like rose gold on two of the flowers. So same pendant, same satiny ribbon and a little bit different ends. So interesting. Okay, what is this? Ann Taylor. Ooh, I love Ann Taylor. Ooh. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to get up close and personal. This is Blue Gold Stone. Oh, one of our favorites. Hang on. Okay, let's get closer with this one. Okay, this is a double strand. And these stations are beautiful. Gold Stone. So we have the squares. And then we have beautiful rectangle and let's see it looks like just the square cut and then the emerald type cut but it goes all the way through so let me pull this through look at all of those stations of beautiful gold stone look at that or blue gold stone look at this and they're all prong, seriously, they're all prong said. And we're back from our unscheduled interruption. Sorry about that. We have had more folks concerned about our car warranty lately. I tell ya. All right, uh, this Ann Taylor with all this blue gold stone. Oh, I can't wait to look this up because this has got to be, this has to be something. Mm-hmm, loving that. Oh, you know what? This would go really nicely with one of those collars. Uh, again, tons and tons and tons of rhinestones. Here's another set. Okay, with the earrings. So we have the pendant, beautiful silver tone chain, and the matching earrings. I'm telling you, the, this lady had to have been, or this person had to have been, uh, something to do with the wedding. That's a lot of rhinestones. Or maybe she just, 
he, she totally loved rhinestones. I mean, everybody looks good in rhinestones. Okay, this is the black rhodium look, silver tone. Oh. Alfani. Ooh, alrighty then. Name we haven't seen in quite a little while. Okay. A lot of smalls in this box. My poor, my poor, my poor kid. <laughs> I, you know what? I should have started him like on a boho box. Much bigger jewelry. There's very little in the way of this kind of thing going on. Um, beautiful chain. Lovely uh, four leaf clover design in the purple. Love it. Okay, it looks like fashion. We had something very similar to this in Aaliyah Sophia. This isn't marked. But double strand, you know, it has the shorter, a little bit longer, and it does not want to. Okay, look. There. <laughs> it, it doesn't want to, and I don't want to fight today. I just, I'm not in the mood. All right. Pendant. Nice long snake chain. I mean, definitely notice and look at the size of this thing I wonder if it's marked I don't know I'm not seeing a mark but that's a beautiful quality nice and heavy nice oh this is fun okay looks like we have like a crackle bead and little glass drops. That's cute. Nice little silver tone chain. That's adorable. Okay. Again with the rhinestones and that black rhodium look. Against the skin tone. Pretty. Oh, dainty chain. Oh. Oh! Hang on. Um... We had those earrings. Dang it. jeez. Oh, um, okay, we had earrings that I think go with that. Well, you know, I'm not gonna waste a lot of time on film. They're somewhere. Somewhere in this disaster are the earrings. I think I think we have the earrings that match this pendant. I am pretty sure. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, this little one. Okay, then with this one too. Look at this one. And we have enough um, earrings around here that I think we could find something beautiful for that. I haven't found anything. All right, and this looks like a shell. Oh, with a little shark's tooth on a beautiful little gold tone chain. Cute too. Hey, this box had everybody covered, I tell you what. Oh, how cute is this? Okay, look at this. You know, this would be adorable for like a... Oh, is that a mark? Hold on. Hold the phone. 18 karat gold plate. All right. Um, I don't, well, yeah. Okay, well, maybe. Um, look at that cute little... Heart, and then the chain. Now that would be fabulous for a uh, like a flower girl. I mean, if I'm gonna stick with the wedding theme here, gang, and I'm sorry, there is just glitter and dirt and everything all over the place. This is really, really long, beautiful gold tone, and then you have the heart station followed by a really long drop, and then the little floating heart. Nice. I am surprised the heart didn't get ripped off. This box had definitely had its issues with that big tangle, my poor kid. My poor kid. Now, I should have done that on ASMR, um, but I would have had to bleep out too much stuff that even whispering, you know, there was a lot of talking under one's breath. But, you know, I, I, but at least he gets to appreciate how much of a challenge we all go through when these boxes come and they are tangled is nobody's business. Uh, Charming Charlie. Okay, this is a beautiful double 
double chain here and then look at this does it have a moment let's see okay it looks like all the rhinestones are there wow i love that oh and it's in really good shape it's in really good shape <laughs> Yeah, the only challenge I have, like, when I do a, an unboxing this way, is the fact that I'm seeing it the first time y you guys are. So, I'm, I tend to take too long and look at, you know, the jewelry, too. So, hang on. Let me um, get some of this stuff out of the way and let me grab some more stuff. Okay, on the earrings, uh, there are so many. I mean, so many. We had to do it this way. There was no way of pulling them out of the box. This would have taken hours, and we know you guys have so much to do, so I wanted to make sure that we ended up getting you guys, um, you know, all of the earrings, but efficiently. This has got to be one of my favorite earrings ever. I mean, you want to talk about, if that's not Swarovski, I mean, good grief. This is some gorgeous stuff. Um, I don't see a mark on... The stones so I'm you know I don't know and these are heavy I mean these are gorgeous all right so these two I think are my favorite okay we did end up finding the other origami owl again I did not I didn't know that they had hoops like this we found the other pair we got the matching on this one and that one and this one this box was so loaded with earrings I mean it's unbelievable the video is already long without keeping you forever and a day we just had to process the earrings this is insanity you should see how many earrings and here we go uh, the first group is mainly uh, I'm gonna say artisan made and there's everything from glass beads to stone beads. I mean, absolutely beautiful, different compositions. She used uh, some he, she used specialty beads. Some even have some stone, like these have some, uh, I don't know, maybe some rose quartz, banded something. They're really small. I haven't, you know, really had the time yet to take too, too much of a, a look at them. But look at <laughs> the colors the composition um, you know really really pretty again you know we have faux pearl we have glass beads and a gazillion colors I mean this beautiful okay see this is we couldn't deal with them just by themselves here we go but look at the purple I mean, and this would have been great for Christmas. Trying to get these to lay down. I don't think they want to. These are beautiful crackle beads. And then you have wonderful seed beads that, you know, are not always the easiest to work with. And this person used the same beads but in different composition. Talk about, you know, a fun way to spend some time, create some memories, create some beautiful work to sell, to give away, make its gifts. But I love the, I mean, some of these glass beads are absolutely but then you know me and glass beads, so <laughs> I am a sucker for some glass beads. Now, there are a nice group of commercial earrings, too. So I'll get to those as soon as we finish these. But, I mean, if you have a booth that sells this kind of merchandise... I mean, my goodness, you can get a whole bunch of inventory right here. I have it. <laughs> Let me know. Uh, but yeah, dealing with the earrings, I felt so bad for the mister. I mean, he wanted to be involved. We wanted to spend some time together. And, well, we did. And, you know, and, well, then he got to the earrings. I thought, uh-oh, here we go. And, I mean, I know what what earrings do to me after after a while. And... 
I, oh, I had no idea this box was going to have so many. This has that beautiful ombre, the yellow to pink. I mean, oh, it's so nice. So, so nice. Okay, and you're going to have to forgive me. You know, we still have random dirt and hair and everything else. Bonus stuff uh, that I haven't cleaned out yet. We're just trying to have this be as authentic as we can. You know, old school, the way we used to do boxes way, way, way back in the day. All right, and this, that concludes the whole artisan. I think that's going to be it for the artisan. I think this whole next group is the commercial. And these are great little rhinestones. Kind of heavier than I thought. Uh, same thing with these ones here. These tassel earrings have absolutely fantastic rhinestones. And yeah, you know what? I don't know what that is. It's been that kind of day today. Um, <laughs> but this box had a little bit of everything. Uh, threader earrings. Let's see if we can't get that. I, you know what, gang? I am so sorry. This is just the unruliest group of earrings ever. I mean, like, ever. Um, Carnelian. These have, like, a little druzy going on. Totally cute. Some glass. These look like amethyst. And again, um, you know, all of those were threader style. Look at these. I'm going to do them sideways because they're so big. Let's see if I can't get them all in the frame. Boho. These are beautiful. And then we have, you know, some pretty standard. Okay. Oh my word. Nothing's going right today. Um, and then these have the look of inside outside hoops, but they don't. They only have the rhinestones on the outside. But look at those. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This box was probably the most earrings we have had in a really, really, really long time. And they're beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to see what the heck they look like when they're all cleaned up. Can you imagine? And then we had everything from very classic styling to this boho metallic. Look at these. And those aren't the only ones. Look at these. And the thing that I found very interesting with these in particular is the fact that they are pretty unscathed. In a box like this with everything jostling around, I mean, that is remarkable. Those are my favorite. I think these are my absolute favorite. They're heavy. They are faceted. I, you know... I know they're fashion, but man alive, those are gorgeous. Boho, you've got like these brass pieces and like this, almost like an inlay look here. These are gorgeous. Yep, door knockers. I mean, come on. <laughs> this box has a little bit of everything. Ceramic, faux pearl. I believe those are faux pearl. Silver tone. Gold tone. Okay, this group here, I have the necklace to that in Man Alive. Uh, those, those pink, man, that really pops. Look at these rhinestones. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. Glass. Look at these honking rhinestones. <laughs> Look at those. Wouldn't it be great if those were real? That'd be awesome. Uh, okay, this one. Uh, we have this necklace. These are pretty glass. I mean, seriously, I could not ask for, you know, I tell you. Okay, so these are glass. We've got dyed shell. This matches a necklace we have in this box. We found the other pair of that, the other one. We had the one in the beginning. And then we have these two. These are very classic with the rhinestone running down the center. Really, really pretty. And then we're going to end with these. I would have thought these would have said, you know, 925 or gold over or something. But, you know, these are not inexpensive rhinestones. 
Those are gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, and then we're going to end the box with, we did find the other one of these. This is the one from the beginning that had the clotta at the bottom. And then in the middle, I mean the middle, my poor kid found the matching necklace. Okay, so the necklace has... 925 and so obviously it's gold over and these on the post are marked 14k gold filled so you've got this little beautiful set and then he gave me these earrings talk about uh yes please all right so see the four little diamonds in the diamond pattern. They are open in the back to let light through. This is marked 925. And then these can, my diamond tester, my goodness, my diamond tester can get in here. So those tested as diamonds. These little black ones I think are black diamonds. And, but I cannot get my diamond tester without hitting some form of metal. But the post here is marked 585 so we have 14 karat gold on the post silver and diamonds and then look at the size of the backs these are also marked 925 and they have the little safety cap so perfect perfect ending to a really really fun box all right gang that was our old school box thank you so much for liking commenting subscribing thank you so much for being here we really do appreciate it from the mister and myself thank you again for spending time with us be safe, be well. Until next time, we'll see you soon.